Noah, I can't believe that after all these years, my forever person is someone I have known almost all of my life. From playing on the playground together, going through our awkward middle school phases together, graduating high school together, and even going to college 10 minutes away from each other. Although, if you would have told me in kindergarten that I would end up marrying you, I probably would have cried. You've shown me what real is supposed to feel like. You can keep me grounded. You make me smile bigger and laugh harder than anyone else. If I had only felt the warmth within your touch If I had only seen how you smile when you blush How you curl your lip when you concentrate enough my bride on our wedding day. Oh gosh, I'm already gonna cry. <laughs> Ugh. Megan, our big day is finally here. Can you believe it? Not too long ago, we were going on our first date, looking at each other, wondering how we got here. We knew we enjoyed each other's company. We knew we had the same sense of humor and we definitely knew we both loved Mexican food. <laughs> what I did not know is just how much I could love someone. Now that our wedding day has arrived, I am vowing to you that you get unconditionally loved for the eternity of your life. You are my world, Megan, and I am so grateful that we get to share our lives together. Let's have a night. We will never forget, babe. Tonight, we party until we're, <laughs> until we're purple. <laughs> P.S. Miss Palace has a nice ring to it. Love your husband. <laughs> Today starts our new journey together as one and I am so excited to see where it takes us. I promise from now until the end of time to love you, choose you, and support you. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you the most. See you soon. Love, Megan. The covenant of marriage was established by God who created us male and female for each other. With his presence and power, Jesus graced a wedding at Cana of Galilee. And in his sacrificial love, he gave us the example for the love of husband and wife. The Apostle Paul reveals that happiness comes from putting the others first rather than ourselves. He says, be subject to one another in the fear of Christ. Wives, be subject to your own husbands as to the Lord. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Now that Noah and Megan have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands, with their giving and receiving of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife. Noah, you may now kiss your bride. It is my pleasure to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Noah and Megan Palace.